Ready to rock and roll, bro. Sure. <laughs> <clears throat> Thanks for coming back. Thank you. So, I hear the good news. You <clears throat> did ayahuasca last week, was it? Yes. Okay. So, this is a tag on for anybody who's listening the first time. Fry was here <clears throat> about 10 days ago or so, interviewed a pre journey, and then just did your first journey yes with the solo kid yes and you survived you're here i did <laughs> yeah it was uh it was quite interesting <laughs> say least. oh i can't wait oh my goodness yeah. okay so tell us everything um let's start at just your preparation leading up to it and how you yeah. what you were feeling <clears throat> too yeah so the preparation um, just did a clearing of the room with sage. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> did some yoga stretches mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. before I started and some meditation. Get relaxed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did the cook up. Um, mm -hmm. While it was cooking, you were kind of like doing the yoga and relaxing yes. and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it takes an hour for that. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling? Kind of excited, nervous? So I feel like, yeah. So I mean, it definitely was was pretty, you know, nervous about it. <clears throat> so the, the flavor is not terrible. Yeah. It's not great. Yeah. It does go down. <laughs> <laughs> but you immediately kind of feel a burning in your stomach. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, there was a lot of nausea to it that happens. Um, While you were holding it down or yes. like at the beginning? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you kind of got to force it to hold it down. Uh-huh. Um, Did you sit up then when you drank it and just stay put? Yes. Yeah. I was just kind of waiting for it. Yeah. Kind of mm -hmm. just prepared for it. There's mm -hmm. not much else you can really do. Yeah. Were you sitting on a yoga mat or in your bed or? On a massage table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just kind of laying down, waiting yeah. for it. Mm-hmm. But I did have my buckets out in case I did, yep. you know, get sick. Yeah, for sure. Which was uh, very handy. <laughs> so, I mean, you feel the burning going through your system. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to vomit. Mm -hmm. So, when that comes up, um, it came up deep like mm -hmm. nothing I've ever experienced before. About how long after you drank it? I want to say about 45 minutes to an okay. hour. Yeah. yeah. It was just like like a monster. It was like, ah! like oh I was like, oh my God, what was that? Yeah, I was like, what was that? Uh, Definitely felt like I was releasing some yeah. demons out of there. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. But after you know, all after all that, I feel like, wow, that really felt good though. Mm -hmm. Really, yeah. a lot of energy release. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> some music. I played some Icaras. Mm-hmm. From, the Peruvian, yes, yep, the traditional ones, yes. Uh -huh. yep. And so I felt like that kind of helped keep the space clean. Sure, yep, it does. <clears throat> yeah. mm -hmm. I don't remember. Happen. Yeah, I don't remember like a lot of the visuals, but I remember <clears throat> my third eye kind of started like there was a vortex mm -hmm. spin. Okay. And so there's collars that started to spin left and to the right. Oh, left uh -huh. and to the right. Uh -huh. yep. So it started to spin. <clears throat> and then the first thing I remember, I think, was uh, uh, was Catwoman. So Catwoman appears. <laughs> and um, after all these like other shapes and things uh -huh. that I don't really recognize. <clears throat> but like I recognize in the room or in your mind? In my mind. Okay. Yeah, nothing happens. Nothing was happening outside of okay. my mind. It was all yeah, inside. Your eyes closed. Yes. Mm -hmm. So she appears. She kind of look, looks at me, and I'm like, "Oh, that's pretty cool." There's Catwoman, and kind of really enjoying that. And then, like as she looked at me, mm -hmm. got a low battery, twenty percent. <clears throat> I've got my lighting. We're good, yeah. So she looked at me. Her eye actually telescoped out. Oh, wow. 
and then like looked at me like really close mm-hmm. to my face mm-hmm. and then it expanded out and her eye got really big huh oh my gosh shrank down yeah. and then went back into her eye socket oh my gosh and then she's like kind of walking around <clears throat> and then i see batman just kind of walking around and the crazy part is it's like it's inside your mind but like you were really like there uh-huh not like a hallucination, like yeah. maybe like an LSD or mushroom. Uh-huh. This is like a reality show. Yeah. <clears throat> so then I saw a Batman. And then later we saw a Joker. Oh my gosh. And so the Joker was kind of just kind of walking around. And then he like stared at me and he noticed I was there. Yeah. Like, what are you doing here? And then all of a sudden... He grew up to like a 40 foot oh, yikes. devil, oh, wow. except it still had the, the Joker face, uh-huh. but I recognized it as more of a demonic figure. Yeah. <clears throat> and at that point, in my left hand appeared the Catwoman's whip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I grabbed it and I whipped it at the joker's left leg yeah and pulled it with everything i had Mm -hmm. and pulled his leg out from under me nice and made him fall and then then a sword appeared in my left hand oh cool Mm -hmm. and so then i ran up i ran up and jumped on top of this fallen 40 foot beast Mm -hmm. and put the sword to his neck Mm -hmm. and told him to surrender demanded that he surrender and after he realized that I was going to kill him, he surrendered. Yeah. And then the whole vision just kind of vanished. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then I felt this overwhelming feeling like the universal energy uh-huh. or whatever was observing this yeah. creator gave me a feeling of satisfaction. Yeah. Like... You gave it mercy, even uh-huh. though it was demonic, uh-huh. and it was pleased. Uh-huh. That's how I felt. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then the rest of the visuals were like there was a lot of sacred geometry shapes and colors. And then I actually, I think, passed out. Mm-hmm. Like I actually slept. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I don't remember what else yeah. happened. Yeah. So later on, I woke up, had to vomit again. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep, that happens yeah. Yep, a lot. Yeah. Yep. Back to that. Yeah. Crawled back to the yoga table, got back on it, um, massage table, mm-hmm. and then passed out again. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, it's like you go <clears throat> into like a trance state almost, yes. right? When yes. you pass out. Yeah. And then you kind of lose track of yes. what's going on. And something's happening because when you throw up, it has to do with whatever was going on. Yes. But we're... I felt like it's purging poisons and yeah. toxins out of my body. Mm-hmm. I literally felt like it pulled out some kind of like an energetic implant. Yeah. Like something that was stealing my energy. Good. And I yeah, felt like good. that was yeah. removed. Because when yeah. I woke up the next day, I felt like I was kind of groggy. But as the day went, I actually had a lot more energy. Good, yeah. But the first thing I did when I woke up, I started like doodling and like creating, uh-huh. which is not normal. More creative, yeah. Yeah. So it feels like it moves some kind it of creative block. It feels like your energy is clearer yeah. to me. Yeah. You feel much clearer. Yeah. Yeah. I feel Good. a little more calmer. Yeah. Yeah, calm. I always feel yeah. more calm too. Yes. It's, it's kind of an interesting combination because it's like openness and creative and calm. Yes. Like I always want to, like, do stuff Mm -hmm. the next day like or maybe the third day or the second day the next day I'm usually kind of too wiped out to do much and then all of a sudden oh I need to make videos or I need to make this website or I need to do this thing yeah 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 no problem functioning Uh and definitely looking forward to Mm -hmm. next dose Mm -hmm. good yeah well you made it through good job what would you tell people you know don't do it it's dangerous don't do a solo journey um, you know, that, I mean, how, you, you broke through the fear. You're one of a few. Yes, yes. <clears throat> I'm totally fine with, uh, you know, doing a, a solo journey. I just recommend people do the research mm-hmm. to know what to expect. Yeah. 
Um, Do you feel like you were prepared well? Yes, Good. I was prepared well. Good. And I, I recommend like for the following day to not have any plans. Yes. You know, Absolutely. so you don't have to rush back into mm -hmm. reality. So you can kind of self-reflect on what you experienced. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. And yeah. you feel kind of physically exhausted? Yes. Yeah. The next I day. I yeah. do too. I always do. Even still today. Yeah. 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 I think it's possible not to have to deal with that at some point as much. But I've never reached that level, I don't think. Yeah. Um, well, that summer where I did several in a row, I had gotten to where I wasn't physically exhausted after them anymore, after about probably the probably eighth or tenth one. <laughs> but then if you're waiting, see, like for me, I only do them twice a year now, usually. <clears throat> so I'm going to feel that exhaustion. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. But gosh, yay. So what would you tell your viewers? Um, anything that, you know, a, a so, you know, the solo is such a, you know, it's a taboo kind of thing in our culture. Everybody right. thinks, oh, you got to go do the <clears throat> tradition. You got to be in Peru. You got to have a shaman. Right. And you did it at home in your massage room. Yeah. With your massage table. And that's even, to me, that's even a stretch because you have to kind of climb up and down. Yeah. But you were fine. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a place I was comfortable yeah, with. That's exactly. why I chose that room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it was just very comfortable in that yeah. space. Yeah. Now, what, <clears throat> I'm interested, Catwoman, Batwoman, I have a lot of bat symbology in my first one, too. What does, where does that fit into your life? Have you always been a fan of Batman or... Um, those characters <clears throat> or anything so I've always loved you know the Batman mm -hmm. um, the good guy the dark yeah the dark the dark guy that's the good guy yes yeah yeah it was kind of interesting how the good guy shifted into mm -hmm. something dark mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but um, I'm not sure why that appeared first you mean the the Joker <clears throat> that he got yeah the Joker and the Batman and he, Catwoman Oh, because he was, it seems like he wasn't revealed yet. Yeah. It's revealing. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, that revelation kind of moment. Yeah. yeah. So at the end of the day, when you take the mask off, it was just basically facing your fear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And part of the fear is um, facing your solo journey. Yeah. Yep. And you know, at the end of this life, when you pass on to mm -hmm. the next... You know, you'll be alone during that shift. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, um, when's the next uh, um, journey? Any any plans on that, or just kind of wait and see? Or... Sure. Probably in like two weeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Any preparation that you? Um, how, how was your food, your belly? Did you have a lot of food? No, I fasted. You fasted? I fasted the whole day before. Mm -hmm. yep. So there was really nothing coming up except yeah. energy yeah. and some liquid, mm -hmm. um, mostly water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it seemed like there was a lot more water that was trapped than what I had been drinking. So that was I know, interesting. It, comes, it does come from a deep place, too. Yes. It's really strange. I weighed the next day, I weighed five pounds less. Wow. So wow. that was interesting. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, you're like, hmm, okay. I like that part of it. I yeah. feel like it helps <clears throat> me overall, every, you know, on the cycle to re. Like, I, I think if I never did ayahuasca, I wonder if I just would, you know, always be putting on a little bit of weight here and there. Mm -hmm. But it always takes it off and kind of resets you. Yes. Like, and then you don't eat as unhealthy for a while because you kind of don't have those cravings. Right. After ayahuasca, you're right. like, oh, I don't really care about these things anymore yeah. that I wanted. And that's like always kind of a relief, you know? Yeah like huh what am I gonna do with all these cookies are they gonna go to waste yeah <laughs> yeah I enjoyed that I actually enjoyed that part yeah 
Uh huh. That's great. And what do you um, what do you think about the idea of a, like a high bed, bread re, high bread retreat where people come in, they do um, one to two nighttime ayahuasca's and then a daytime <clears throat> with San Pedro, which is a mescaline. Yes. And um, integrate together, eat meals together and so forth. You yeah, know. It'd be interesting, I would yeah. love to try that. Mm -hmm. It'd be fun to yeah. yeah. yes. kind of get close, some bonding and some support. Definitely. Creative support too. Yeah. I think it's, you know, I never had anybody to really bond and stuff yeah. with. It was a pretty lonely, really, really lonely journey for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah I would love that. Yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, me too. It's like, gosh, and people need community more than anything. And then to find a community that's all opening up at the same time together, to me, would be like, have been my dream come true, yes. right? Yeah. Opening up in a positive way too. Like I was at the art and music festivals, people are opening up on mushrooms and LSD and cocaine and this and that, but they're and amphetamines too, but they're not um it's not like an intentional space of of bettering and healing. Well it makes the energy. Yeah, it's too. more like addiction opening yes. up, you yeah, know. Right. Like let's open up in our addictions, yeah. Yes, right. Instead of our uh Let's get rid of our addictions and open up to our creativity and our other powers. Yes. Yeah. This would be kind of a gathering of like-minded people, which would be really nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It's where it doesn't feel so taboo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, good. Thanks so much, Brian, and appreciate that. Anything else you want to add? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.